A lot of people want to know just how sensitive metal detectors like this are, and I'm going to show you today. This is a GPX 6000 made by a company called MineLab. I am running an aftermarket coil on it from Coiltech. This machine is not cheap. It costs 8,000 Australian dollars. But there's a reason it's not cheap. Have a listen to this tiny little signal. I'm almost guaranteeing that's a piece of gold with the tone that this machine is making. And if it is, it is going to be minuscule. Metal detectors are one of the few items you can buy in this world where you get exactly what you pay for. And whilst there are plenty of metal detectors on the market that fill the niche gap somewhere between a professional level and an entry level machine, like the Equinox 800, there is a notable jump in the performance and capabilities of a machine between $800 and one that's worth $8,000. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you have to go out and spend $8,000 on a machine to be able to find gold. What I'm trying to show you is just how impressive the technology packed into these machines really is. A prime example of this is my dad's experience with metal detectors back in the 1980s. My dad spent over $1,200 on a Garrett metal detector, the state-of-the-art piece of equipment that was available back when he was my age. And for well over a decade, he worked the same exact hills that I'm prospecting in now. And the smallest piece of gold that he managed to find with that metal detector after all those years walking in the hills? Seven grains. Bad. Nope. That's about half a gram's worth of gold. Now why is small gold so important to a metal detectorist today? Well the simple fact is, there's just way more of it available it to be found. Like Back in the 80s, a half gram piece of gold would have been considered quite small to be able to be seen by a metal detector. By today's standards, it's an absolute screamer. And what I'm about to show you here is a piece of gold that's well and truly below that half gram mark. Oh, that's all I have left in my scoop, it'll be in one of these chunks. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> there it is. Right there. Nice. A little bit of context. That machine found gold at least two inches down that is smaller than a match head. And that's why you pay that really expensive price for these units. Because it's getting harder and harder to find decent gold deposits if you don't have a machine that can't pick up the really small stuff. This stuff can lead you to bigger pieces, but you have to be able to hear it. You have to be able to hear these tiny pieces above heavy ground mineralization, hot rocks, and all the junk. The point is, that tiny little piece of gold wouldn't have been found if it wasn't for how sensitive new metal detectors actually are.